Okay, here we have three equations, three variables. It looks like a lot, but we'll walk through um, the problem. Um, the problem is here, x plus 2y plus 5z equals negative 1, 2x minus y plus 3, 3 plus z equals 2, and 3x plus 4y minus 4z equals 14. Okay, um, let's go through step by step. First thing I did, I looked at the first two equations, and I have to cancel a variable. You just choose one to cancel. Doesn't matter. I happen to choose my x variable, so I want to get rid of the x's here. So I have positive x, and I have 2x. Well, I want this to be negative 2x. So I took negative 2, multiplied it here, and distribute negative 2 throughout the parentheses here. Well, this new equation is over here on the right, which is negative 2x minus 4y minus 10z equals 2. Okay? I just rewrote 2x minus y plus z equals 2 here. Then I combine these two equations. Negative 2x plus 2x is 0. Add those, negative 5y. Add those, negative 9z. Add those, 4. Okay. Now I have this equation that I got from adding, combining these two. Now I need to come up with another equation. I add these two together. But my problem here, I want to, I got to get rid of the same x variable. Okay. Well, here, notice you have 2x and 3x. Well, how am I going to cancel one of those? Well, you got to multiply by a number so that you'll make the number, your coefficient of x, to be a multiple of 2 and 3, which is 6. One positive, one negative. So I multiply this 2x, or this equation, by negative 3. This equation by 2. Well, I just distribute negative 3x down here in the green negative 3y times negative y here, so forth. Distribute here, also down here. Now I got two equations. Add them. This is negative 6, positive 6. That cancels. Add this, 3y and 8y, 11y. Negative z, 3z and negative 8z here. Add those, 22. Now I'm over here. Now I've eliminated those equations. Now you got two equations here, two unknowns. I'm just going to solve this by way of elimination. Kind of like I did. You could use substitution to solve here. But we can, we're going to solve by way of elimination. Um, to do this, I want to eliminate my y variable. Um, again, least common multiple. This one is 55. So I multiply this by 11, this by 5. So here I got the negative 55y, so forth and so on. Here I got the positive 55y, so forth and so on. Okay? Now I have another equation here. I got to cancel here. Again. Add these, negative 55y plus 55y is 0, negative 99z plus um, negative 55z is negative 154z over here in the red, 44 plus 110, that's 154. And here, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 154, so my z is equal to negative 1. Once I have my z, now I have one of the variables. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to take this z, start plugging it back in. We're going to plug it into one of these that had two variables. I think I chose this one to plug it into, and I'm going to solve it for y. So I'm going to take this, and I wrote it over here in the blue. Negative 5y minus 9 times negative 1 equals 4. Take this and solve it. Move this out of the way. Um, over here, that's positive 9. Taking this, solving it for y. Over here, subtract 5 over here on both sides. So I have y equals 1 once I walk through this process over here and solve. Because what I did, I subtracted 9 from both sides. When I subtract 9, I have negative 5y equals negative 5. And then divide this by negative 5. I didn't show that step here, but it's going to be y equals 1. I take y equals 1, plug it back in over here in the blue. Take my z, plug it in over here, solve for x here. So I have my solution, which is x equals 2, y equals 1, z equals negative 1.